Hi everyone, my name is Brandy. I'm with Brush by Brandy and I'm here today because I'm working on a piece and I wanted to show you this technique. So I'm going to show you how to paint a traditional ecot um, design onto a piece of furniture. And what ecot is, is it's a traditional, um, it's a traditional way of um, making fabric that's done in India. And this is the basic kind of pattern that it is. So you've probably seen this on a bunch of different designs on rugs and things. I'm going to mimic that design and put it onto a furniture piece. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. So I've got a base coat of this teal color. This was a custom mix of Dixie Belle paint. Um, and I used um, In the Navy, um, Palmetto, and Evergreen to mix this custom color. And now I'm taking Dixie Belle Sandbar and I'm gonna lay out a basic shape onto the side of this furniture piece. And my accidents are always deliberate. So even though I want this to look kind of random, you'll notice that I'm placing my, my lines kind of deliberately. So I wanna go from top to bottom on the edges. I'm gonna kind of shrink it down and then I'll go large again over here. So what this reminds me of, it reminds me of kind of a heartbeat pattern with the highs and the lows of what a heartbeat would look like. Um, so I really am just trying to get some coverage over the top of this blue and make it kind of random. It's okay that it's a little bit thin in some spots right now because we're gonna come back and fix that in the next couple steps. So now I'm gonna carry this in over here. A little bit more this way. Um, I'm just spiking it up in some areas. I want to try to keep those full coverage, but I am going to come back with this custom teal color and I'm going to fill that in a little bit. So this is the basic layout for my first color. I'm going to do this with multiple layers and we're going to build them up slowly. There's a back and forth process. Okay, so now I've got my first step on here. Let me show you the front of this piece. This was my first step on the front. Okay, so now I'm back for the next step on this process. I've laid out my sandbar over my custom teal blue. Um, and now I'm going to come back and fix the top of this line a little bit. So this is the other side that I painted last night. It's already dry. Um, I don't care for on this that my sandbar got a little muddied by my um, teal. It wasn't quite dry when I put that layer on. So that's okay. I'm going to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a thin brush and with my custom teal mix. And I'm going to brush it back down into the sandbar. And if you see, this really is going to clean up where some of these lines get a little fuzzy. I'm going to clean up this stuff up here, obviously, but like here where it gets a little fuzzy, I'm going to clean that up by coming back and going over it. I want to keep the tops of these lines kind of pointed in some spots. So this is where I can really uh, refine the shape if I don't like how I laid it out the first time. Like let's say I want to take this line down a little bit. I can just come and go right over the top of that and it just made that one a little bit shorter. When it dries you won't be able to tell that that's any different. I'm going to take this one down a little bit too. I don't want it to look like a, you know, mountain peaks or anything. I want it to look really random. a bit so it dips down in the center. I'll touch this up here. Now again this is wet paint going over dry paint so once this dries you won't be able to see where I put this touch this little touch up in. I'm going to make sure I'm covering up that sandbar really well and just covering up these spots where it's a little fuzzy in here. I really want to clean that up so my lines are nice and crisp. So now I've got a really cool pattern in here. You know, I'm going to take this one down even more. I just think it would look better. Need a little more paint to cover the top of that. And then, of course, I will cover this. This up here I'm going to leave in the solid teal color, so I will put a second coat on this soon. But right now I'm just focusing on how to get the ecot pattern in my paint finish. And I'm trying to do the same thing I did on the other side where it dips down in the center, but the edges get a little bit higher. Um, again, I don't want it perfect. I want it to look as random as possible. And every spot will be a little bit different. I need a fairly firm brush for this. Let me take this one down a little bit too. 
So you can really refine your pattern here into whatever shape you want it to be. But this cleans it up. Get right in here into this trim and pull that down a little bit. And then I will come back and I will repeat this same step along the bot this bottom line here. So I'm going to clean this up as well. Okay, I'm back for the next step on this ecot finish. And the next color I've chosen is going to be um, Dixie Belle Hurricane Gray. And I've chosen Hurricane Gray because it's just slightly different enough, but still complementary to the two other colors that I'm using. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come back and spike this through the center of my piece. And this line is going to keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller um, to where all you see um, are the tips of each color sticking out. So I'm going to go in and do this. And you'll notice I'm using a very narrow brush, fairly firm, because um, I'm just trying to stripe this in a little bit. And I can always come back with the sandbar and touch this up. Make sure I'm getting coverage in here. I have some lighter gray on my brush, so it's Okay, so I'm kind of mimicking the line of the sandbar, but making it a little bit different. So if you can see down here at the bottom, um, I probably need to touch up my sandbar a little bit there. But mimicking the same pattern that I kind of laid out, I'm just kind of pulling stripes of this um, hurricane gray on top of the sandbar. And I'll do just like I did on the gray with the, or the um, teal with the sandbar, and I will come back and um, touch up. Um, I'll touch up the sandbar once this color is dry. So with each step, I'm using a new color and I'm using the color before it. I need to wait for this to dry before I can come back. Otherwise, the sandbar will start mixing with my hurricane gray. And I don't want that. So I've got kind of a cool pattern. And like I said, this is going to keep getting smaller and smaller with each color that I add in here. The pattern will get more and more intricate. Pulling the tips of the paint up and give it that little bit of spiky feel in there. I don't want to be covering um, the sandbar. Okay, so I like that in there. And then we'll come back and our next color will be inside of that even. On this piece, and what I'm doing now is I'm cleaning up the lines. And I'm going to clean it up so the tips are um, going fresh into the white and shore up this gray a little bit. So I'm not paying attention to the center because I actually have another color that's going to go in here. So I'm just cleaning up these edges going up into, uh, I called it white, but it's actually Dixie Bell Sandbar. So it's actually a cream color. Um, so I have an artist brush here that I'm using for this because my space is getting smaller and smaller that I'm working in. So this is a natural bristle artist brush. It's probably a half inch. Um, and I'm using uh, Dixie Bell Hurricane Gray. So I've got the hurricane gray and I'm feathering it up into the sandbar. And then I will come back and my next color is going to be Dixie Bell Midnight Sky. Nice job, Mom. Okay, my next step on this is I'm adding Dixie Bell Midnight Sky, which is a, a soft black color with blue undertones. So I like it. It almost looks navy up against the, um, the hurricane gray. And so again, I have a small natural bristle brush because my area that I'm working in is getting smaller and I'm just tipping the end. So I'm going to um, tip it down at the bottom, um, up at the top. This is going to be my final paint color in here. So I have a surprise coming at the next step um, for what's going to go on top of the midnight sky. 